Okay, let's talk about grouping sets a little bit here. Um, okay, now a grouping set is a way of returning multiple group buys in one query. For example, let's say we've got um, we've got an orders table here, and uh, we can see that we've got a lot of orders per employee and that some of those um, orders are duplicate by uh, customer ID. So we've got multiple customer IDs per uh, employee. So we want to aggregate against employee ID and customer ID to find the number um, of orders per employee and, and um, customer ID. OK, so let's hide that for a second. OK, now. Um, normally, we'd have to run separate uh, queries. For example, this will give us a uh, if we do uh, account versus order ID from the orders table, that will give us a grand total of of uh, of orders in the table. And if we now if we do it by employee ID, so we actually need our group by. Um, we now can get the total number of orders for employee. And if we add customer ID in there, we now get the number of orders for each customer per uh, employee. So for this employee, we have two orders for this customer, only one order for that customer, three orders for that customer for that particular employee. Now, if we wanted to put this all together, um, it would be kind of tricky, but if we have grouping sets, we use the same exact syntax. We say the select clause, from clause, and then the group by clause. But then we have this grouping sets clause where we put each of the previous group bys. So before when we wanted to count them all, now we just have an empty set and that groups on and that, that gives us uh, all the records. And then we have one for just the employee ID, and we have one for uh, the employee ID and the customer ID. So now we can see how that looks. So, so now you can see here's the one where it's both the employee ID and the customer ID. And then here's the one on just the employee ID. So we get the, the total for that. And notice that it puts a null for the customer ID. And then here, we're not going to use either one. We're just going to get the grand total. So um, whenever they're asking you for a grand total, um, you want uh, you want that. You want the um, the empty uh, set. And whenever they want a um, subtotal, then you want just that particular key. And then when they want just a regular total, that's when you put all the um, IDs together that they're asking for. So uh, here's an example question. Um, in this question here, you're asked for the total sales made by salespeople, year, city, county. So that is here. So that's, that's just a total. So here's the salesperson, county, year. And then for the next part, you're, in, you're asked for a subtotal for city level and county level. So that means we want a separate grouping set for each one of those. See how it's separated by a comma, and they're in, both inside the round brackets. And then we want a grand total. So remember, that's, again, the empty set. Um, so that's pretty much it. it uh, OK.